Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The, the School Zone. All right, so in the last episode, um, yeah, it was pretty much a one episode mission, I guess called the Loyalists here, but yeah, we pretty much came back to see how the Hound Pits pub had been completely taken over and they had uh, absconded with Emily and we met up with uh, Piero and Sokolov, took out all of the guards and tall boys with uh, his monster Tesla coil there. And then we signaled for Samuel, and he's about ready to take us off to King Sparrow Island to rescue Emily and to defeat uh, Martin, Pendleton, and Havelock once and for all. So, uh, yeah, this is the last mission of the game. Might run maybe two or three episodes. We'll see. I'll try to finish it in two, but, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. The island is a bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily, just after they landed. I'll bet the Admiral's got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. If Pendleton's lost the first round, he's probably dug in someplace, doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you, Corvo. The things you've done, you could be the worst of us. What? I've seen a lot traveling with you. Now get off my boat. I'd wish you good luck, but I'd be lying. Out, Corvo. All right. So although he uh, rescued us, I guess he's having a bit of a breakdown here. He wants to just get out of Dodge. The problem is we're on high chaos. And uh, if we uh, let him go, so to speak, then he's going to alert the guards up ahead and we want to maintain our element of surprise. So instead of killing him, because he, uh, he did do us a solid, we are just going to trank dart him instead. See if we can catch him so he doesn't fall in the water. Okay, that's entirely trippy. I didn't mean to do that, but hey. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, well, let's uh, check out what we got going on over here. I think we're pretty stocked up. Yeah, let's check this map here. All right, so this is kind of the uh, layout of the complex. Uh, you can see we have a far way to go to get to the lighthouse, but that's all right, because it's actually a really fun mission. I'm sure there will be some factoids, but it's going to be pretty action heavy. So uh, let's do this. Still, uh, all right. Well, I wanted to move him so he wouldn't fall in the water, but uh, let's see what happens if I press X. Oh, there he is, kind of halfway in, halfway out of the water. But you know what? I ain't got time for that. At least we didn't kill him, technically speaking. Although, if he falls in the water, it might count as a civilian killed. Jeez. I hate clipping. Anyway, we are going to do something really fun over here. And uh, see this watchtower right here? If we can commandeer that, then it's going to take out like half of their regiment. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a little tricky. Got to get right, right to this edge, I believe, without getting noticed. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bend time, open this panel, rewire it, and then we are going to jump down over here. And then watch the action. It's just gonna like, they're just gonna keep running and we're. <laughs> they're just gonna keep running and keep getting taken out. They don't know what to do. They're like, oh my god. <laughs> Wasn't planning on that. 
All right, so there's a bunch of guys over here, too. It's just going to keep on basically taking them out. So, uh... Yeah, we don't need any more of that. So let's, um... Let's head back down over here while it does its thing. How's he doing? Eh, maybe he won't die. All right, well, let's uh, top this off real quick. And then start sneaking up this way. Now, some of the guards are behind cover, so... Like that one, maybe we can peg him from... Will he hold still? He will. No, nope, he won't. Psych. Okay. Alright, so we have another obstacle to deal with. And that is this arc pylon here. So what we are going to do is... Bend time. Run over here. Kill him. Take this out for this moment. So it doesn't totally take us out and then we are going to hop up here, I know you're here rewire this okay. and then plug this whale oil tank back in and now it's on our side <laughs> okay so they are definitely going to have a bad day let's see if uh, if it takes one of them out here He's about to... Uh, they know what's up. <laughs> they don't want to mess with it. Okay. Well, let's uh, head up here. And maybe we can uh, kind of creep around. Come on up behind him, so to speak. Maybe right there. None of this would have so <laughs> Corvo had killed the Empress. <laughs> okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we set up a big rat parade? And that way we can just grenade a bunch of them when they all run up. Like that. <laughs> oh, he survived. Look at you. Oh, I'll find you. Don't get back up. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Where are you? Got you now. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I figured it'd be kind of fun just taking out a bunch of guards. Yeah, between that uh, watchtower, that arc pylon that are both now on our side, uh, we're pretty much invulnerable now. So we can kind of scoot around and have some fun. Ooh, there's a bunch of them over here now. Let's do this. Some more rats, how about? There we go. See, these are the super rats. They'll actually do something. They can't shoot the rats because they're behind the wall and they're too afraid to step out. So we're just going to keep moving. Forget about them. Someone's supposed to be on oh, now they want to join the party. Well, how about if we just give them some mo? There 
There we go. Good job, little buddies. All right, there's a bunch of loot. I don't think we need most of this, but we can definitely eat a whole bunch of these uh, white rats and get our mana back. Yeah, that's what I love about that combo there. See, got all our mana back. All right, awesome. Okay, well, let's uh, keep exploring around here. What do we got here? Some sleep darts, take that. Okay, so I think that just goes back down to the area we were at. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay, so that right there is one of the entrances that we can go in. We're actually going to try to rewire these... Uh, walls of light so instead oh there's a little area that we can explore yep pick up another grenade gotta love it okay i think we're safe to run sweet just gonna keep taking them out that totally rocks. I think this just goes back down, yep. Yeah, this is where we were. Okay, so uh, what we can do from here is jump over to this tunnel, and this will lead to an area where we can rewire, whoa. There we go. Is there a guard? I heard a a throat clear. There he is. Let's uh get an incendiary bolt ready. Okay, where's <laughs> We're okay here. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, rewire this uh, wall of light. So anything else we can grab around here? Can't go through there. Can't loot him. Can't go through there. Let's see if this is another area we can. Uh, Yep, there's another area we can rewire. So this uh, little control station looks like it controls both of the walls of light. Should we plug something in there? Maybe we should. I don't know, never done that before. Let's see what happens. I mean, we did rewire it and all. Okay, so we can't go through there, so we have to go back around and down. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so where'd we come in? We came in over here. Okay, so now from here, we can jet on over to this area, and we can go through that uh, wall of light, the harbor side entrance. Before we do that, though, why don't we go ahead and take a look around. Ooh, there's one brave guard. When I find you, it's going to be bad. That is so mean, but it's hilarious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a peek down here. Okay, so once again, if you wanted to be super stealthy, go for the ghost achievement, you could uh, come down through these little hatches. But, uh, yeah. 
takes a lot of patience and uh, you got the ghost achievement on the first mission so I was happy with that nice I think we're maxed out again how cool is that Alright, since we're at a lighthouse near a pier, I might as well give you some factoids about some of the maritime lingo here. So, these metal posts right here actually have a specific name. They're called bollards. Uh, it comes from the alternate name for a tree trunk, which is bowl. B-O-L-E. Uh, the act of tethering a ship to these bollards also has a name. It's called mooring. And, uh, yeah, this whole area right here where you kind of dock ships, uh, that also has a name. It's called a berth, spelled with an E instead of an I. And an area that contains several of these berths is called a key, but spelled like uh, Q-U-A-Y, I think. A pier is more like for fishing, and a wharf usually has some supply booths and stuff, so that's maybe the difference. If there are any sailing enthusiasts in the audience, let me know if that's about the right distinction. So these large shipping boxes also have a name. They're called intermodal containers. Uh, they also came into use in the early 1800s, so they fit right into the dishonored timeline as usual. So these hoisting winches also have a name. Uh, they're called harbor cranes. Although they used to be made out of wooden stone, they've been around since the Middle Ages, helping lift crates and barrels off of ships. Smaller ones like this one might be called a David uh, with a T instead of a D on the end, especially when it's used for like lifting boats instead of cargo. Okay, so uh, yeah. Don't think there's any loot left, so let's go ahead and head on inside. Probably don't need to be sneaking now. Just in case. Let's go ahead and run. I'm willing to take the risk. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, I don't need any more grenades. Wow, we're maxed on grenades, too. That pretty much rocks. Okay, so... I rewired this wall of light. We should be okay to walk through it. Let's see. Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> So we entered. Don't think we can get through this door because it's the control room. Yeah. So um, I guess you could have also possessed a rat and walked through there. But let's go ahead and jump up here and see where uh, all these nefarious characters are at. It's not the best you can do. You disappoint me, Martin. Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? The view is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of inbred shit. Come and get me if you're so strong. Stupid blue blood. Let's see how you like this. Huh. So I guess they are in fighting. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs> now I'll sit for a while and consider the problem of getting into the gatehouse. I need time alone. Okay, so we'll let him walk upstairs. I don't want to deal with him just yet because uh, there's going to be a cool encounter with him later. But let's see what we got going on. Ooh, we got one of these guys. Okay, as soon as he turns around, we are going to have to stab him. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we can sneak around down here into this little access area. Oops, there's two guards. What a bunch of stupid bastards. They picked the wrong side of this fight. I can't even tell who's on the right side of this one. Looks pretty clear from where I'm standing. I don't think anyone knows what happened. We saw the little girl, I mean the Empress, go through the gatehouse and into the lighthouse proper. Then we heard shots. Then we rushed the gatehouse, but it sealed up. What makes us right and them wrong? 
I didn't mean wrong like morally wrong. Who cares about that? I meant like, like the cannon we're bringing up has a right end and a wrong end to be on. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up some uh, spring razors. We'll go ahead and put one there, put one there. Ooh, it knocked me into the water. <laughs> I was trying to make it up here before that guy uh, came out. Okay, well we didn't get spotted, so let's go ahead and set up a spring razor there. There. And now we can go back down here and kind of explore around a little bit. Cindiary bolts. Glad I used those. Got to replace them. Now we can uh, kind of take a look at... Um, ooh. It'd be great if that was a spiritual remedy. It's not. Dang. Oh, but there's one. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at this equipment and see if anything was distinguishable. Eh, uh, not really. Can't really give you any factoids about this stuff because it's nothing's really standing out. But uh, yeah, I can uh, tell you a thing or two about lifeboats. So uh, lifeboats have been around since uh, probably the age of sailing, to be honest. They weren't mandatory on sailing ships as a means of like emergency exit until right around when dishonor takes place. The lifeboats uh, before then were mainly large rowboats that were used for like spear fishing or harpooning near the mothership. And these things right here, they are called ship lifts. And uh, it sits in this thing called a ship cradle. Uh, but because they're angled for like an emergency launch, they might also be called slipaways. So, uh. Okay, so anyway. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and leave that there because that'll eventually take out one of the guards. But let's see if any of these have been triggered yet. Okay, so it looks like that one has not been triggered yet, but this one has. And they turned to ash, so let's go ahead and put another one right there. And now we can sort of uh, safely do maybe a little sniping. Because what I want to do is cross over the yard there, because I think there's a bone charm or, yeah, a rune. So we want to cross... Ooh, there's a guy standing still. Stand still, stand still. That's what I'm talking about. Stand still, stand still. You gotta love it. Ash. Okay. There's a guard there and a guard there. see here patience uh, wonder if we should take him out one at a time or oh he's standing still perfect I was going to say if I should do a rat swarm and bring them all out for a grenade, but uh, you know what? They are actually standing still. Poor guy who's just checking his hair. <laughs> now we ain't got none. Okay, we are doing pretty good. I know there's some other guards lurking about, but I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, like, right there. Oh, no. oh, it's 
But I'm gonna go ahead and there's one right there. He's headed back in. Okay, so we can sneak on up behind him. Awesome. Okay, so yeah. All right, I'm going to set a spring razor there and a spring razor there. And now we can sort of explore this area. Rune is right there. Did it trigger? It did. I knew it. That guy would have come on up behind us. All right, let's set another one. It's our last one. Dang. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's crank this. Yep, I think that opened that uh, drainage pipe. I don't think there's anything really to school around here, so we can probably just jump down to here. There we go. I don't know what we can buy with this. Let's see. Yeah, this might be the last rune. So I don't think we're going to have enough to pick up Wind Blast. But uh, I'll go ahead and pick up Vitality. Give us a bit more health. Why not? Okay, I see a Spring Razor there. Maybe that's a rewire tool. Okay, so... Okay, so this leads up to the area that we're going to cover in the next episode. I wanted to kind of school all of the ground floor before we start heading up. So let's not do that quite yet. Let's go ahead and grab our spring razors and head through here. Yeah, this looks like a large engineering room. Let's see if there's anything worth uh, looting or schooling. Okay, so these all look like turbines. We talked about turbines in a previous episode. So check that out. Man, we're good on that, too. Loving it, loving it. Oh. How about that? Where does this go? Okay, that goes back out to the yard. How about this? Oh, okay. Okay, so this goes back outside again. If we had come in that side entrance, remember that first sewer hole that I mentioned? That's where that enters. There's a guard. Let's see if we can peg him. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Now we can go back up through here. And take on uh, the rest of the yard and start heading up to the second floor. So we're going to take care of... Actually, you know what? Before I end the episode... Let's run down here real quick. Don't think there's anything to check out over here, but... Oh, what's this? Where does this go? Oh, okay, so this just returns to where we were. 
uh, the rune was was through that little porthole there. Okay, so um, yeah. All right, so let's get ourselves in a position to start the next episode. Okay, so we will do that. Thanks so much for tuning in. If uh, if you guys don't mind a long episode, I might try to finish up the entire game in the next episode. If he was holding still, I would have shot him. Anyway, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Add some comments if you see any uh, factoids or anything. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even have to be about the factoids. If you guys just want to make comments about strategies of the game and things uh, I might have missed, then definitely leave a comment or two. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.